Hi, it's David Forrest here. I'm the principal of First National Cairns Central and Cairns Beaches. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you again. And today I'm joined by one of our senior property managers, Rebecca Hanegraaff. And Rebecca is going to talk to us today a little bit about routine inspections, uh, a critical part of our property management. And I know it's a, a, a passion of Rebecca, so we've asked her to join us. So. Beck, thanks for coming in today and uh, having a chat with us. Maybe you could start off by just telling everybody exactly what a routine inspection is. Yeah, certainly. So a routine inspection is where your property manager attends the property. Uh, we go through each room taking photos. Uh, that We bring back to the office to generate a report for the landlord. Fantastic. And I know that the um, the regularity of, the, of a routine inspection is governed by legislation. Is that right? That's correct. So section 188, subsections 2 and 3 state that a tenant must keep the property and inclusions clean and not maliciously damage the property. And section 195, subsection 3 basically states that we have to have at least three months in between inspections. Okay. So we try to attend every 14 weeks. So do we try and keep that as a definite term, like we keep rolling on like that? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So even if a tenant changes, we try and keep the inspections every three months. So the owner's got their inspection report every three months. Okay. Now, I introduced you before by saying that you have a particular thing about routine inspections. Why? Why do you see them as being so important? Absolutely. They're great for both the landlord and the tenant. The landlord gets to see how well their tenant is looking after the property. And the tenant gets to show us, one, how good they are looking after the property. Two, do they have any maintenance? and the landlord gets to keep that report for their insurance company as well. Yes, I think that last point is very important. You know, to be compliant with the insurance policies and to have records for insurance is very important. Absolutely. And look, I'm thinking that, um, what is it though that you, you actually look at at a routine inspection? Um, you know, do you look at structural things or do you look at pests or whatever, or do you look at all of it? Yeah, look, so when we go through the property, we're having a look through, um, you know, ovens, we're looking at stove tops, we're looking in bathrooms. So we could be looking for leaks under the kitchen sink. Um, we could be looking, is there mould growing on the ceiling that there's potentially a water leak coming through? Uh, we're looking at the cleanliness as well. Um, but yeah, we're, we're trying to keep an eye on what's going on within the property. So it's good for both landlords and tenants? Absolutely. So we, tenants have the opportunity to report maintenance to us um, by leaving a note on the bench if they're not home or visit, verbally telling us if they are home. Um, from a landlord's point of view, we're able to keep an eye on things. So things that tenants may not see because they live there every day. So cracks in the ceiling from movement, we're able to keep an eye on those sorts of things that tenants wouldn't normally look at. Terrific, terrific. That's great. And once you've done an inspection, like you've actually been out, had a look at the property. I assume you take photos? Yeah, so we take photos and take notes down, um, especially if the tenants told us about their maintenance or they've left us a note. We'll note that all down at the property. We come back to the office, we type a report, compile it all together with the photos and send that off to the landlord. Okay, so the landlord actually gets a written report with photos? Absolutely. Oh, fantastic. And uh, just last question, because I don't want to hold you up. I know you've got plenty of work to do. Should a, a tenant sort of dress the property up or fix the property up or tidy the property up before you come? Should a tenant fear these kind of routine inspections? Because yeah. I know sometimes they do. They do. So they don't need to at all. Of course, we love a clean house, doesn't everybody? Um, they don't need to fear these at all. We're coming through. We understand that these houses are lived in, so we do expect to see them lived in. We do expect that they do go through our cleaning checklist that we send out. So cleaning fans, cleaning your oven, etc. But they don't need to fear them. Yeah, that's good. Especially if you've got kids. It's pretty hard to keep a house tidy with young kids. You'd know that, wouldn't you? Absolutely. I've got two of them myself and um, I do routine inspections as well. So I understand what it can be like. And yeah, we expect you to live in your home. Fantastic. Thanks so much for joining us today, Beck. It's been, I think, a very informative session. I hope that you actually all get something out of this. And just remember, if you need to talk to us, don't hesitate to call us. Thanks again. Bye.